So today we're going to be talking about what we call engineering controls or safety devices. Engineering controls are things that are manufactured to protect the user of the device from being either stuck with a needle or some other kind of danger. Now, we're going to be talking about safety devices today on the needles. So the first one we're going to talk about is the one for the ETS system, evacuated tube system. So you can see that the needle is capped and the safety lock is in the up position. Normally what we would do is we will pull back on the safety lock, take the cap off, and then we would be ready to do the blood draw. After the blood draw is complete, what you will do is immediately upon removing the needle from the arm, you're going to rotate it such that the safety lock is on the bottom and using the equipment tray, we will lock it. You hear that click, the device is locked. So once it's locked, uh, there's no longer any danger of you being stuck unless you break off the safety device. The next one we're going to use is the syringe. And you can see that this one also, we have the cap in place. So that's a, a safety device in itself. Once we remove the cap, after we move the safety lock back, remove the cap, then you would complete the draw. After you take the needle out of the arm, you're going to pull back on the plunger just a tiny bit to retrieve the uh, blood that's in the needle and also to allow for less splash because when we lock this device out, the blood is going to splash. So what you're going to do is when you're ready to lock it, invert it, safety lock is on the bottom, click it down, and it is in the lock position. That is the syringe. Next device we're going to use is the butterfly. Now remember the butterfly is the number one device that is a cause of a dirty needle stick. So this one, the first one has a um, kind of retractable needle. So after you have completed the blood draw, the needle is going to be exposed and what you're going to do is when you remove the needle from the arm, you're going to hold the barrel by the bottom and simply pull on the cord. And you will see that the wings and the needle retract into a safe position. So remember, you're gonna hold the barrel so that when you pull on the cord, the wings go between your fingers and the needle will lock. And the last device we have is the other type of butterfly that we'll be using, this one. After the needle has been exposed and you are finished with the draw, you can simply push the button on the top of the butterfly and it will retract the needle into the barrel and it is now safe and you can dispose of it into the sharps container.